Good day, Mr. Desalia. We are the group 35 and I am the leader. I am Dennis Camacho and they are my members. Uh, hello, Sir Desalia. I am Jetrail Bukat. Hello, uh, Sir Desalia. I am Fairchild Roy Austria. Hi, sir. I'm Jeff M. Aguirre from Main Campus. Hello, sir. Desalia, I am Jamantic Bon Joseph Daniel from Kainta Campus. And our research topic is online, online community health tracking system. Hi, good day everyone. Especially to you, uh, Mr. Romel Dasalia. My name is uh, Fairchild Roy Austria. And sharing my uh, presentation, Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. So this is the background of the study. Philippines is an archipelagic country in Southeast Asia situated between South China Sea and Pacific Ocean, uh, consisting about 7,100 islands and is broadly divided and categorized into three divisions, namely Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. It is topographically and mostly mountainous area with narrow and large coastal lowland. It has 17 regions which was established in 1993, Dr. Seperino uh, Gariela, medical doctor, a board certified internist and nephrologist and chairman of medicine at St. Joseph Hospital, founded about a way to help people by the growing of an insured people due to crisis. An electronic medical record system developed by NTHC improving health condition uh, through RH level buried patients and other health related data are collected in RHU on daily basis over the country using many numbers on manual like paper based method. Statement of the problem areas of concern on health problems considered many factors to combat on how to depend some kind of disease which are so rampant of spreading that affect uh, rapidly the lives of people. In general, higher authorities of the country of health departments drafted and make policies and rules in maintaining cleanliness and sanitation practices. In whole country, these policies are stipulated in the Philippine sanitation codes and have series of impacts on health and social development. However, these policies are not fully implemented, applied and enforced. On the other hand, these policies should be observed by the uh, doctors, nurses, midwives, and people concerned for a good and sounding life. So main problem, with the volume of health information typically collected in a government health centers, it a uh, challenge for all health personnel in consolidating data into a cohesive and relevant record. Patients information and other related data be collected manually using paper-based method, pruning to errors distractions due to uh, poor handwriting, ambiguous abbreviations, and unorganized recording. It also consumes more time causing significant delays and inaccurate information of reports. In this case, decision making to health status communities may be delayed, hence there, there will be a, gra a gap in the development of strategies which must be when well planned com uh, combating countries health problems and reduce in inequity in healthcare access specific problem due to the poor communication especially to remote areas even websites are here already we have poor signals and most people can afford to have gadgets to receive messages and or to share experiences on healthcare especially on this great and 
dying coronavirus pandemic. In most instances, they can't understand what websites is more fitted, how to share, how to be qualified in websites information, who are responsible most to share the context needed in the information. Uh, good day, sir. Sir, this is Anna. I'm just in Bukat, and I'm going to discuss Chapter 1, Objective of the Study. Main objective, the purpose of this study is to help our community during this pandemic in tracking people's health conditions, give them safety advice treatment and their status. Of course, main objective um, and is to communicate with the people so that we can track their health conditions and give them safety advice. And specific objective to give every user a reminder to treat their health problems. Then second one, to give every user step-by-step -step procedure to treat the symptoms. Third one, to give every user information to be more aware about their conditions. Of course, significance of the study. Uh, giving the people a uh, reminder to treat their health status by giving them step-by-step -step health procedures to treat the symptoms and then so that they be more aware about their conditions. Next is significance of the study. Significance of the study. This study will contribute to find out the factors that can help during pandemic such as it will help the, the users more monitor their health conditions and be more cautious to their actions. Second one, it, it would help the community to be more aware in their surroundings by giving them more tips and information about this pandemic. It will help the country health sectors and frontliners to reduce, reduce time on visiting people's house just to monitor their health statuses and conditions. Of course, uh, we give we give a, we give peop, uh, we give informations about their health conditions so that they can so that they can be more cautious to their actions, just like uh, going outside to be more prepared and others uh, and we give them uh, more information about this pandemic so that they cannot be uh, not threatened or can be more knowledgeable about this pandemic of course uh, so that we can help the frontliners uh, in reducing the this visiting people's house and uh, monitoring a person's health conditions. The third one is project scope and limitations. The research about the online com community health tracking system, uh, of course, are our project is online community health tracking system. Uh, it is a web-based application can be used by community community people and health expert, experts in the Philippines. The application focuses on tracking health statuses of the user giving tips, providing remedies of their health issues, their health Remedies for the health issues they are facing, but limit, limited only to minor cases. System can assign health administrators as such. Health experts, nurses, to monitor users' conditions day by day. The system gives users ability to consult their health issues at their fingertips. However, an active internet connection must needed to allow the consultation message 
to be sent to their respective health manager experts and be and able to receive a replay from them. Of course, our system is web-based, so we need uh, internet connection so that we can communicate to the health consultants and health managers experts. Mm, no. so if we can uh, can have internet, we can communicate them by uh, giving them updates about your status, and they will give you information to solve that or solve any problems that you have. And by they by chatting them, they will give you advices, health treatments, and uh, information about this pandemic. We have this uh, called consultation message and we have also the respective health managers expert that can communicate with you so that you can uh, be more cautious and be more knowledgeable about the pandemic. And the next is chapter 2. Uh, our, me our members will discuss it. And Good day, Mr. Ronald Tisala. My name is Don Joseph Daniel G. Jamante. I assigned to discuss the local, local and foreign literature, project development, data flow diagram, flow chart, system feature, and development tools. So, so in this local literature, we have Arturo Onkeko Jr., the field Health Service Information System, or FHSIS, is the official recording and reporting system of the Philippines DOH, conceptualized in 1987 and implemented nationally in 1989. The FHSIS is now on its fourth modification, and this uh, and FHSIS is a set of information system on priority government programs intended to monitor health service de delivery using key indicators however not all programs are included such as those under control or rabies and no communicable diseases so it means na many uh, in this in this country many filipinos are active in internet the researchers assume that the website that we are going to publish is to have update their health condition. And the next is foreign literature, which is we have Holger Tradle, the Community Health Information Tracking System or CHITS is an extensible modular open source information system for rural health units or initially for the Philippines. It collects existing routine health data from vertical prog programs in the field health services information system or FHSIS and integrates them into a unified so this literature is closely related to the current study for it direct, direct mentions the role of our website is to track and monitor of those health status Hi po, Mr. Romer, Romel Dasala. I'm Jeff M. Aguirre from Pipindan, Binawa, Narizal. Ang nakasign po sa aking chapter sa project po namin is chapter 2 and chapter 4. Sa chapter 2 po, yung, yung topic ko po dun is local studies, uh, foreign studies. Sa chapter 4 naman po is front-end technology, uh, back-end technology, project requirement, tsaka hardware requirement and software requirements. Hi sir, bali unahin po natin yung local studies. Yung pag-aaral na to dapat sa bansa po natin manggagaling. The, the Department of Health or DOH of the Philippines launched its new COVID-19 tracker, the Revamp Tracker Future. Additional information on the epidemiology of COVID-19 in the country. COVID-19 testing, health facilities, and availability of personal protective equipment or PPES. 
The public can now also have a snapshot of the country's health system capacity in responding to the pandemic based on data collected from the DOH data collect application. The data collect application gathers daily data from hospitals and stakeholders such as essential resources and supplies availability of hospital beds, isolation rooms, ICU beds, and mechanical ventilators in human resource needs. The application will also be able to accurately calculate the projected need of PPAS and link to our logistic offices for delivery of supplies. This will facilitate easier and faster tracking of reports between do it offices under the mandatory reporting of attributable diseases and health events of public health concern act or RA11332, all of DOHS partner hospitals are mandated to implement the system of data collection. Next is foreign studies. Ang pag-aaral na to is galing ang Australia. Yung Illumina Company has recently announced that the Australian Public Health Laboratories will aim to sequence the virus genomes of all positive COVID-19 tests. The Communicable Disease Genomics Network or COGN and Illumina ay nagsama upang matrack ang COVID-19 using next generation genomic sequencing technology. The next generation sequencing is a massively parallel or deep sequencing are ano to, related terms that describe or a DNA sequencing technology which has revolutionized genomic research using NGS, an entire human genome can be sequenced within a single day. The Australian government has provided an 3.3 million US dollars medical research future fund grant through the University of New South Wales Sydney School of Medical Sciences as part of the research project. Analysis. Hi, I'm Dan Samacho and we're going to discuss chapter 3 Prototype analysis. Prototype analysis consists of five parts, but I'm going to discuss risk analysis, cost analysis, and SWOT analysis. So let's start with risk analysis. Risk analysis consists of first description, delayed information due to connectivity issue. So we already discussed the, some parts of risk analysis. Now we're, we're going to proceed to cost analysis. So what is cost analysis? Cost analysis is costing about the project and how much resources do you need it and especially the budget. So first of all, the hardware. The I, and the item of it is computer package such as keyboard, mouse, and the monitor. So the quantity of this uh, of its is for developing it is one two five it is a vice but if you're a solo programmer you're gonna need only one and the price of it is ranging to thirty thousand to sixty thousand pesos and the uh, next one is domain so what is domain domain it is the name of your website in the internet item of it is health track ph it is the, no the domain name of the system quantity of it is only one and the price of it is ranging from 749.50 pesos to 3,500 pesos. So the next one is hosting. Hosting, it is a, it is like a computer, but open 24/7. The next one is SWOT analysis. What is SWOT analysis? It is a representation of strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. So we're going to give some example of it. So. The first one is access to medical advice and tips on few clicks. So the weakness of it is not applicable for no internet user. So and the opportunities of it is optimized platform for online availability. The threat of it is, is making the service and platform possible to all users. So the next example is tracks held by local health expert. So the weakness of it is experts are not online all the time to answer inquiries. And then the opportunities of it is are attracts high profile doctors and health enthusiasts. 
And the threat of it is increase on storage costs and bandwidth costs that may account to outage. So, more user means you need to increase the bandwidth of your database or your website. So, it means you need it will cost a lot to the server. I forgot to mention that there's still one left for my topic. It is project schedule. So what is project schedule? It is the schedule of your project throughout from the planning until publishing. So the project started last October. And in the first week of October, it is consists of planning and data collecting and gathering. And to the third week of October, we're already coding and testing. So the fourth week of October is human resource management, the strategic approach to the effective management of people of a company or organization such as they help their business gain a competitive advantage. Its also purpose is to ensure that the organization can achieve success through people. It also recruits, select, induct employees, providing orientation, imparting training and development, appraising the performance of employees, deciding of compensations, and providing benefits, motivation, employees, and their trade. Having an HR is so important to uh, identify the right person in the right orders of job in a firm of easier collaboration, communication to give best or good support for every employee's moral and have deeper commitment in its goal. It would be a means as bridge the gap of employees, performance and organization strategic objectives and giving an edge of the firm over their competition. Thank you. And the next is project development methodology. We choose agile development because it is small and easily manageable and that can be completed within a couple of weeks. And then the, and then the first one is requirements. So requirements, website requirements only tell you what you your website must have and what it must allow user to do requirements do not tell you how to design or develop the site to have those feature function and content so sa requirements daw po kailangan natin ng uh, syempre una yung kung anong design ba ang gusto mo sa gagawin mong website or development na kung ano yung ilalagay mo doon, kung ano yung mga function na nandoon na kailangan natin ilagay para hindi malito yung mga user o yung mga gagamit ng website. So the second the second is plan. This initial planning and strategy phases allow the web team to uncover your needs, brand information, ad audience, demographics and Secure the core purpose of the site in order to build a solid foundation upon which the site's look and feel, colors, and fonts can be applied. The next was is design. So, impacts how your uh, audience perceives your brand, the impression you make on, the de on them in either get them to remain on your page and learn about your business or leave your page and turn to complete competitor a good web design help you de keep your leads on your page sa, sa design nga yun nga kailangan natin ng uh, magandang design para for example meron kang uh, katapat na website so ang kailangan natin gawin para mas tangkilikin yung website natin pagandahin uh, tapos bukod sa pagandahin mas uh, mabilis yung uh, ma-access ng mga users. So, bukod sa mabilis ma-access ng users, siyempre, uh, mas pagandahin pa natin yung security ng website. So, yun. Doon yun sa design. The fourth is development. A way to make people aware of the service and or product you are offering. Understand why your product are re relevant 
and even necessary for them to buy you or use and see which of your company qualities set it apart from competitors. So, sa development daw, kailangan natin ng uh, sabi dito is uh, service services and or product you are offering. Uh, kailangan natin, for example, nagbebenta tayo ng, uh, ng product. Ayan. So, kailangan natin kung ano yung mga nandun is mas release distribution of the final version of an application a software release may be either public or private and generally constitutes an initial generation of a new or upgrade application a release is preceded by the distribution of alpha and the beta version of the software so uh, so sino uh, Kung mapapansin niyo po sa mga kung isa ka po sa naglalaro ng mga online games, uh, bago nila po ilabas yung mas bago po nila ilabas yung full or final version ng kanilang application is gumagawa muna sila ng beta, beta version. For example, beta version ng Mobile Legends. Alam naman po, po nating sikat ang Mobile Legends sa Pilipinas. So yun, bago bago siya maging final version, na gumawa muna sila ng beta or alpha test. Kumbaga, uh, for this year, uh, for this year, uh, lumabas naman po yung, uh, kung alam po natin, ang uh, League of Legends Wild Rift. Uh, Nagpa-alpha test po sila dito bago nila inilabas yung final version ng kanilang application. So, the next is, six track and monitor. Keeping track of your ongoing result, you will have the ability to monitor and update your site on a regular basis. Doing so will help you identify any existing or potential issues and learn what you need to do to create a solution that will increase visitor engagement and improve your user experience. So, uh, track and monitor. Uh, dito naman po natin uh, kung saan masasabi na kung saan uh, for example natin is sa mga games ulit. So, yun. So, for example, yung kanina sa release, ah, balik tayo sa release. So, nung nilabas na nila yung alpha test or beta test nila, beta version nila ng application. So, dito naman sa track and monitor, dito na nila manalaman ng mga programmer and developer na kung ano ang kulang sa kanila. Kung ano ang issue na kailangan nilang baguhin. Ganon din sa mga website. Ah, ganon din po sa mga website na kung saan uh, meron doong uh, uh, user experience or comment or issue, report issue, na kung saan malalaman ng developer or programmer na kung ano ang dapat nilang gawin para mas mapaganda pa ang kanilang website o isang application. The next is uh, data flow diagram. Our simple data flow diagram, which is have, which is we have user and admin enter your username and password database and verify and then we will show there our open user panel and open admin panel so the next is flowchart we have start and login that have a process this our login is a process and have a decision making new users new user if you are new user, we go, you are going to a register. You need to go to register and fill up registration form. Then, if you have a existing account, you're going to input your only your input user name and password. Login success. Validate. Type. Yes. User panel. You're going to admin panel. If you want, if you are a admin panel if you are user panel and then if you want to exit we have end the next is our system features this is our system features the next is system features if you can see our image security login our image of registration for user and admin level this is our user registration. 
And the next is our image verification code input before storing registered data to database. The next is record viewing. The third is uh, user patient list admin level. You can see. This is our admin level. And the next is request notification admin level. You can approve or decline. The next is chat tab user admin level. That is our chat tab user admin level. The next is profile manager user admin level. The next is profile manager user admin level. Profile Manager User Admin Level again and this is our development tools in our development tools we have Visual Studio Code MySQL Database SAMP P Server and Technology what we see and interact with as the visitors of a website or as the end user of a mobile app is Consider front end technology. All the behind scenes activity that delivers the data and the speed with which that data is delivered falls into back and falls back into back and technology. Next po is back end technology. The back end technology of a website consists of a server, an application, and a database. A back end developer builds and maintains the technology that powers those components which together enable the user facing side of the website to even exist in the first place. Project requirements. Project requirements are condition or tasks that must be completed to ensure the success or completion of the project. They provide clear picture of the work that needs to be done there meant to align the project resources with the objective of the organization. Next, hardware requirement. The most common set of requirement defined by any operating system or software application is the physical computer resources, also known as hardware. A hardware requirements list is often accompanied by hardware compatibility list, PCL, especially in case of operating system. Last po is software requirement. It's a field within software engineering that deals with establishing the needs of stakeholders that are to be solved by software. The software requirements are description of features and functionalities of the target system. Requirement convey the expectation of users from the software product. The requirement can be obvious or hidden known or unknown expected or unexpected from client's point of view. The project has been done. Uh, this table is like uh, dun sa nakikita nyo uh, function specifications ito yun are available syempre yes meron tayong mga functions and specifications ng ating system na-reviewed siya yes meron siyang mga pinagpuha ng resources of course yes and requirements and specification we have uh, meron kami na ginawa yung need ng internet parang ganon mga uh, requirements namin na reviewed na namin of course yes may mga pinagpunga na kami yes of course author resource created yes design specifications uh, of course yes available ginawa namin siya ng design and na reviewed namin siya Siyempre may mga pinagkakaan na maring kamikit pa paano ng konti. Then project plan. Siyempre hindi ang mabubuo yung isang system. Wala tayong budget plan. Siyempre ginawa rin natin yan. Receive review. Auto resources of course. And prototype. Uh, of course meron rin kaming mga unang ginawa. Na hindi naman masyadong parang kinulong siya in-upgrade lang namin na in-upgrade yung sa una syempre meron tayo kailangan natin ng prototype available generate namin review syempre of course auto resources yes 
user's manual, syempre, meron tayo niya. Ginawa natin yan. Ginawa natin ang user's manual ng system natin. Review natin. Tapos, ano, nais natin. Business model and flow. Of course, meron tayo yan. Available natin yan. Is you review data model flow. Syempre, nakita nyo dun sa mga pinakita nila, diniscuss nila. Meron tayong mga model ang mga flow siya, siyempre. Diyan naman natin yung ito. And okay, installation structure. Of course, you need to install a browser. Any kind of browser to our device. And after installing it, open the browser, then search our website. Make sure you have internet so that you can visit our website and you can log in and register and that's all just you all you need is internet and cell phone gadgets of course and okay so we are already done on discussing the parts of the documents from chapter 1 to chapter 5 so the next one I'm going to demonstrate the system to you or to the, all the viewers out there and let's go.